Oh, that was a sick one. Yarn. What was the best wave of your life? Is it a fishtail? Does the height of the wave, the length of the ride, and the size of the barrel grow as time passes? I'm not sure that I can remember the best wave of my life, or even the best wave I got this year. I can usually recall the best wave of the day, but sometimes it has nothing to do with the wave at all. I honestly don't think I caught the best wave of my life this year, but I did catch the best wave of my year. 2021 hasn't been the best year ever for El Slamo, but it had its moments, and it has been an epic year for novelty waves.
how can you define a good wave? Is it the actual quality of the wave itself? Or is it what you do with what the ocean gives you? I've seen a 10 turned into a one and a one turned into a 10. So what makes up your best ride ever? To me, it's all about mindset. Riding a wave on a surfboard can be looked at in so many ways. A detailed mathematical equation that if solved exactly right, will bring a feeling of inner accomplishment. A means to an end. Maybe you're just trying to get to the beach because you're scared. For me, the best waves I ever rode are the ones where I forget that I'm actually alive. When there is nothing but the moment, the pure energy of the moment. This happens in big waves, small waves, perfect waves, and even those choppy onshore days. That's the thing about surfing. It's more of a teacher than we know. Because no matter what happened on your previous ride, good or bad, we're still out there hoping for a better future.
Some things in life aren't clear. Too many obstacles. Too many objectives. Too many opinions. But some things are very clear. Like my jet ski. 2021 has been interesting. But one thing is clear. This jet ski was one of the best investments I've ever made. I may not have caught the wave of my life on it yet, but if I'm being honest, every time I stand up, I feel like I'm dropping in on the greatest thing that's ever happened to me. Today. And I talk to your dad, so we're all good. I love you. You married me. Yes. I feel unbreakable. The song? <laughs> you have to do it. I'm getting married in four days. It's been an interesting week leading up to the wedding. Wow, that sounds weird. My wedding. I really never thought that I'd get married, but Jordan is just different. This week has been all about reflection for me. When Jordan and I met, I was broke. I had a checking account with about $300 in it, a 1997 Toyota 4Runner, and a couple beat up surfboards. That pretty much covers all my worldly possessions at the time. I was surfing novelty waves, but I didn't have a true direction of where all this was going. Since then, Jordan and I created the pineapple. We made candles, clothing, and even surfboards. I signed a deal with Wave Bandit. I surfed for Hyperflex wetsuits. I surf for Sector 9 skateboards and igloo freaking coolers. I have an igloo signature cooler. Like what? I've had the opportunity to travel the world. I bought a house and then another house. Is any of this real? I still drive a piece of car, but I love it. I drove around the entire country multiple times and served all 50 states in this thing. Five years is a long time, but everything seems like it happened so fast. And now I'm here, just looking back in disbelief. How did all of this happen? I truly believe that God 
or the universe, or however you want to look at it, gives you what you need when you need it. It hasn't been easy. In fact, it's been nearly impossible. There's been so many times when I felt like I wanted to quit and walk away from the whole thing, but I knew that I never could. Like my career, I never gave up on Jordan, and she never gave up on me. Love is not an easy thing, especially love that will last a lifetime. Traveling the world, work pulling me every which way, big waves, weeks on the road, all these things can put massive strain on a relationship. But there's beauty in that struggle. Jordan has never quit on me, and she's the reason that I am the man that I am today. So here we are, four days away from getting married. The wave of your life isn't, in fact, the type of wave that you're thinking of. It's the wave of your life. You're getting the best footage for your skill level, I'll tell you that. My, my. <laughs> this is legit, brother. surf in the ocean, yes, but we are all surfing all the time. The ride never ends, so enjoy it. I'm going to enjoy it because I know that no ride on a wave in the ocean can compare to this. That's why this is the best wave of my life. <laughs>